Well, it is now time for us to bestow our most prestigious award on one recipient. We will choose our MVP of 2020, the most important player in all of leftist and progressive politics for the entire year. Now, the way that it works is I choose four nominees and I put it up for a vote. And ultimately, the Humanist Report audience will decide. And uh, this year was really interesting because it's the first year where I expected Bernie Sanders to not win. Uh, but we'll get to the history of this award. But I, I want to tell you my nominations first. Of course, I nominated Bernie Sanders again. There was a time where I, I was wondering, should I actually nominate Bernie Sanders? Given that a lot of us, you know, we were disappointed that, you know, he, he quit. He bowed out of the Democratic Party primary too soon. It kind of felt like he gave up. But then again, there's the argument he was doing that because he didn't want people to risk their lives coming out and voting when he didn't feel like it would lead to him winning. It was tough, but ultimately I had to nominate Bernie Sanders at least and see what you guys think because Bernie Sanders is the father of the modern day progressive movement. Without Bernie Sanders, we wouldn't have an AOC. We wouldn't have a Cori Bush. He's the one that has basically awoken an entire generation, started this new politics of leftism and progressivism that we see today. So to not nominate him as a socialist, it would be almost like blasphemy so i had to nominate him although he's not my preferred pick this year my second nominee is cory bush she is the newcomer and she had a really huge uphill battle to climb in defeating lacy clay after losing once but she overcame the odds she put in the work and now we have arguably one of the best members of congress ever elected the most progressive the most passionate and i believe in her so I think that that really makes her MVP worthy. Now also, Evo Morales. Evo Morales showed us how it's done. He was so popular that he is one of the few or maybe the first Latin American regime that we've seen in quite some time besides Venezuela that actually thwarted a coup attempt by the United States government. The coup was defeated because of his socialist party. He's telling us what we need to do. He gave us the blueprint. And even though, you know, our American audience might not be as familiar with him, Evo Morales is someone who you need to learn about because this is someone who's special. This is someone who is very significant and now more significant internationally, arguably, than even individuals like Jeremy Corbyn and Bernie Sanders because his party won. And we don't have much victories internationally when it comes to socialism. But he's paving a new path. Now, my final nominee... This one is, uh, it's, it's personal for a lot of us. My nominee for MVP, my final nominee is Michael Brooks. And it's really difficult to think through, uh, you know, the period where we all found out that we lost him because you, you really don't appreciate someone and the impact that they've had. And so you're forced to reflect on the impact that they had, usually when they're gone. And losing Michael Brooks, it made us realize that he really touched us in ways that, you know, we hadn't thought about. Like, for me, I think he was instrumental in my own political evolution. He is the reason why I don't consider myself a social democrat. Like, I am a Marxist because of Michael Brooks. Like, he has had such a profound impact on me and thousands of people around the country that it's going to take so long for us to recover from this. And, of course, we had to honor him by making him the MVP. Now, I had some honorable mentions, and I want to get to those before we go over the history of this award. So my honorable mentions were Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I have my criticisms of her, but overall, I think she's still doing a lot to further the progressive movement, even if strategically, I do think we have to reevaluate what leftist members of Congress do to challenge leadership. Tara Reid is an honorable mention who spoke out when nobody wanted to hear what she had to say. Nobody wanted to hear the story that she told because she chose to tell it at a time that everyone viewed as inconvenient. But that took bravery that deserves recognition. Brianna Joy Gray for putting up with more abuse than perhaps anyone in the progressive movement. Nina Turner for keeping us engaged and fired up. And of course, Ilhan Omar for putting up with abuse as a member of Congress, facing death threats and attacks. I mean, still, she continues to fight for us 
And it's really important that we have her in Congress, and that needs to be recognized. But having said that, though, in the five-year history of this award show, there has always just been one winner every single year. It's been Bernie Sanders. And I've rooted for Bernie Sanders some years. Other years, I didn't want him to win. Uh, so let's get to it. So in 2019, Bernie Sanders won. The runner-up was AOC. In 2018, Bernie Sanders won. And the runner-up again was AOC. This year, I actually rooted for AOC because she was a newcomer. And, you know, I, I want some new blood to get recognition. And I was expecting Bernie to be the president. So, I mean, you know, I was expecting him to win in, in future years. So I was really rooting for AOC. Didn't happen. 2017, Bernie won. Jessica Rosenworcel, who was fighting for net neutrality, which was a huge subject that year, came in second. In 2016, Bernie Sanders won. Jill Stein came in second. And in 2015, Bernie Sanders won. And the runner-up was Malala Yousafzai. So the question is, will Bernie Sanders pull out a victory again? I personally hope not. I, I love Bernie, but I think that this year, Michael Brooks deserves to win. Uh, he's the MVP. Uh, but having said that, though, all I could do is nominate. You all ultimately get to decide. So let's waste no more time. Let's get to the results. So in fourth place is Evo Morales with 1,500 votes. And in third place, Cory Bush got 1,800 votes which means that the result is kind of what I expected. It comes down to Bernie Sanders and Michael Brooks for the Humanist Report's MVP Award of 2020. And with more than 5,000 votes, the winner of the Humanist Report's MVP is once again, Bernie Sanders. Oh my gosh. And that means that Michael Brooks is the runner up with more than four thousand votes now the audience here was torn so when it comes to our twitter poll michael brooks is the decisive winner with 37 percent which means bernie sanders came in second with 26.7 percent Corey bush in third with 19.8 percent Eva morales in fourth with 16.5 percent and our patreon audience crowned Corey bush the winner with 32 percent michael brooks came in second here with 29 percent bernie came in third with 26 percent and Eva morales came in fourth with 14 percent and finally when it comes to our youtube audience where the most total votes were cast bernie sanders came in first place decisively with 49 percent michael brooks came in second with 29 percent Corey bush came in third with 12 percent and evo morales in fourth with 10 percent now when you look at the overall results you can see that the audience definitely was divided, but since the YouTube audience who cast more votes overall overwhelmingly went for Bernie Sanders, you can see how they tipped the scales in Bernie Sanders' favor. But then you see Twitter preferring Michael Brooks, and on Patreon, they prefer Cori Bush. So the audience was divided, but it's nice to kind of see recognition be granted, you know, in different places. Like Patreon gave Cori Bush recognition whereas Twitter gave Michael Brooks recognition, and I do appreciate that. Now getting to comments, Noah VH on YouTube says, I want to pick Michael Brooks, but I have a feeling he would pick Evo Morales. Totally agree with that. Uh, Michael Mancini on YouTube says, Bernie would win MVP of 2016 and 2019 for me, but certainly not 2020. It's got to be Michael Brooks for all the thousands of people he helped to awaken. Agree with that 100%. Mark Perez on YouTube says, Evo Morales definitely. His party ousting the right-wing U.S. installed party by election was a huge flex for the popularity of socialism. Sean McCollum says, Evo had the biggest win of any leftist in 2020, and by showing that you can trounce the neoliberal agenda, his victory is a lesson of determination and a moment of inspiration for every progressive movement across the world. Well said. Pepper Venge on YouTube says, they're all great, but I love Bernie Sanders. He's the father of the left-wing progressive movement in the United States. Totally see that. Mike Murdoch on Patreon says, all are perfect candidates, but I have to go with Cori Bush. She lost her last election only to come back stronger and knock out yet another political dynasty. She never gave up on trying to help the people in the St. Louis area. And now she's going to Congress after a hard-earned fight. Totally agree. Adam Zayas on Patreon says, Cori Bush, because back in 2017, she was the first political candidate I ever donated to. To see her win now makes me so happy. Keith Inholtz on Patreon says, I wish AOC was listed here. I am betting she becomes the next Bernie Sanders. Bill on Twitter says, Cori Bush, she got in against all odds and is already making herself known. 
Kid67 on Twitter says, I think Marianne Williamson deserves an honorable mention. It was just really cool to see her become more left-leaning as she learned about the issues. One of the few candidates who truly cares about all the people in the world. Yeah, I mean, all really... Um convincing arguments here but yeah there you have it you know once again bernie sanders is the mvp and i can't deny that to him i was rooting for michael brooks but i think that you know michael brooks would have not wanted himself to win i think he would have been pushing for someone else to win not that this award is that important or anything but you, you get what i'm saying like i respect that you know everyone chose bernie sanders he really is the godfather of the modern progressive movement and there will be a time where somebody else takes over but for now it, you know bernie sanders is the best fighter that we got and he still is leading the charge you know to get all of us another direct cash payment in you know negotiations and by the time you see this maybe he will have been successful either way he's still fighting he's still setting the agenda for the left and we really have to respect him for that but still i think it should have been michael brooks this year but i do see why you'd opt for you know cory bush evo morales these are all great comrades and i'm just glad that we were able to take some time to you know respect all of them in the way that they deserve